In 1973, the Civic was the reason why Honda became one of the most successful brands in the automotive industry. So now in 2016, does that still hold true? This is the new 2016 Honda Civic, let's find out. Honda has been known to go for a controversial design on their new Civics, but the one thing everyone can agree on is the futuristic approach on every new generation. And the latest is no different. I'll leave you to decide on the design, but if you really want my opinion, I like the front end, it's much prettier, the back is a little weird, but I think it can grow on me by time. Step inside and you can really appreciate what they did on the interior. Much softer materials, better quality, better assembly and design. It's definitely an upgrade from the previous models. It's also decently spacious at the back, with good legroom, and you get premium features like brake hold and electric parking brakes to make the center console more elegant. Where it really shines though is at the gauges. It's all electronic, futuristic, and shows tons of information. Likewise is the onboard infotainment system. The screen is designed in a beautiful floating design. And this is your access to a lot of information including driving efficiency, radio controls, and you also get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. My only nitpick on it will be the lack of tactile volume button. You can only control the volume with a touch bar on the screen or a touch slider on the steering wheel. The drivetrain is targeting fuel efficiency and economy. Powered by 2 liter IVTech 4 cylinder, the output is 158 horsepower and 138 pound feet of torque. The car feels light, agile, steering is too light for my own taste, and handling is not impressive, but given that most of your driving in a car like the Civic would be in cities, it's comfortable and easy to drive, visibility is great and driving position is as good. Still have a big problem with the CVD transmission and unlike the Accord, you can't really go for 6-speed automatic in any of the trims. You only get the option of a manual and only the DX and LX starting models. Given all the features, upgrade and quality and of course safety, you can't really go wrong with a Civic and it will always be one of the top players in its segment, if not the best. And just a couple of years ago you would have paid the price of an Accord to get half of those options. So you really have to give it to Honda for putting in all these options at a budget price. The new Civic is still definitely a great car. I only miss when Honda used to make more sportier, driver-oriented cars. Honda is coming up with the Type R very soon, and hopefully this will capture the essence of the good Honda days. Please leave a comment below, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos to come. And I'll see you on the next one.